I'm Sarah, and I'm adorable. <laughs> So we just got that at Whole Foods. We were in there for an obscene amount of time, but we found a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Um, real quick, before we head out on our drive home, we got a few items we are gonna try. We have these smoked salmon pinwheels. There's four servings for the whole container. It's $9, but I mean, hopefully it's worth it. We got seven grams of fat for each portion, one gram of carbs, which is a sugar, which is probably from the cream cheese, and four grams of protein. Yum, yum. It's got cream cheese and chive. I'm only gonna have one since <gasps> I'm dairy free, so. Oh, that's true. Mm. The sound of me eating them must be bothering you, isn't it? No, it's fine. No? <laughs> Those are good. Mm hmm. They are good. I'm gonna finish enjoying this highball energy drink, wild berry, that I picked up from in there. It uh, has zero sugars in it. It's just basically a carbonated purified water with some energy. It's all right. It tastes a little dusty. Yeah. Not my favorite. Me but either. I feel good. Power through it. It was $3 after all. Mm -hmm. This is my drink. Sounds promising. Legendary taste. No calories. No sugar. Purified carbonated water and natural flavors. Hopefully this doesn't taste dusty. Ooh, that was a satisfying sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I'll try it. Yeah, do your spit suck. Oh, sorry. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know about legendary, but it is pretty darn good. I think that one tastes better than the Perrier, Perrier or whatever. I agree. Perrier is kind of that not, one tastes better. Not my jam. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. We're going on a trip. <laughs> Crowd Vic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Ooh, All right. Hey. All right. Where are we going? Right. So, our trip in Whole Foods mm. was pretty fun. Enlightening. I am too cheap to consistently shop there for all groceries all the time. Likewise. We wanted to see if there was any like Goodwills around here. Any, uh, you know, if there were, they would have the best stuff. There was, there's one around here. It's that one big one. Look at that. That you didn't, you never <laughs> Random went to the log big one. cabin. No, I did not go to the big one. On John R. Mm -mm. Oh, hold on. I gotta get my name. No. Uh, back to Whole Foods, because we oh, got yeah. on the Sorry. Um, I was pretty, I was excited because I had heard they had an olive bar, and I love olives, but then when we got there, it was just olives. Yeah, it wasn't that great. There's no. one at Neiman's, which is like way closer to me, anyway. Mm -hmm. Neiman's Market in St. Clair. Yeah, we should check that one next. Now, one of the coolest things that we will insert a video clip of is I got to grind my own peanut butter and I got to grind my own almond butter. Ooh. Fresh almond butter. And it came out warm. It was the coolest thing I think I've done in a while. Is that pointing at our shoulders? I have no idea. We're gonna find out eventually. We will get better at this. Yes, I I felt like such a creeper when we were in Whole Foods <laughs> and I was like, oh look at all this stuff! And everybody's like, the <laughs> uh, they had all the cool um, they had a new flavor of Zevia strawberry that I'm excited to try. Oh, I got the Mountain Dew. Yeah, we're gonna trade off on that one. Um, they had some two mile deep mineral spring water. It's not a fancy, I liked the big bottles, so I'm excited to have a nice big glass bottle. I got a uh, raspberry lemonade. Yeah, that did sound good. So, yeah, the milkadamia milk. 
which is awesome. We saw that over on AD Keto's channel. That he got it in his February Keto Crate box. I've been um, actually drinking that since before I was keto. So Well, I only found out about it by watching AD Keto's channel when he did the Keto Crate for February. Mm. So I am not as um, cool. Because I've been trying to be dairy-free for quite a while. <laughs> it's always a tough thing to do. Dairy-free is hard. So, it's a challenge. Um, yeah. The biggest uh, dairy-free problem that I have, it, the biggest, part, the hardest part is uh, not having uh, heavy whipping cream in my coffee. Mm. So that's where I use the milkadamia milk, and it turns out to be perfect. And I was doing, I tried a flax, flax milk, the the Karma, flax oh, Karma. Karma. Mm -hmm. Um. But that has the, not that it's like a horrible thing, but the xanthan gum in it. And I'm trying to stay away from the gums, the, the guar gum and the xanthan gum, which actually at Whole Foods, I found a um, coconut milk in the can with no guar gum. Even though I do have like cans full, like a bunch of cans of the um, Thai, Thai kitchen, I think it's called, coconut milk that yeah. has the guar gum, so I'm gonna have to figure out a recipe to get rid of that. I'll take it too, if you don't want it. Okay. I'm not trying to stick away from the guar gum because it doesn't seem to bother me. So until I have a reason to cut it out, I'm just not gonna cut it out. So yeah, now our uh, big adventure is uh, Great Lakes Crossing. Going to uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. <laughs> And Burlington. Going to the mall. Yup. Wasting our Saturday away. I should be at home writing a, a reflection paper right now. I'm sure my kids will be calling me any moment. Where are you? Mine will not be calling me. That's Which I am smart okay with. Your kids don't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be so busy. Look at all well, we are gonna get our good walking in. Yes. Yeah, which I got no, my steps didn't count at all in Whole Foods because I was pushing the damn cart the whole time. I have not charged my Fitbit in a really long time. And I think I'm gonna order my new iWatch next week. So fancy. Oh, we are parking all the way back here. That's okay. All right, so that's that. Maybe we'll walk around with the inside. Mm-hmm.